Welcome to Ethical Hacking for Beginners Social Engineering Toolkit. In this video, we're going to take a look at what is social engineering and the Social Engineering Toolkit, and then we're going to do a demo of using the Social Engineering Toolkit. Social engineering is when we exploit a human vulnerability. Humans generally want to help people, so we take this vulnerability into account and exploit it. You can have thousands of dollars worth of network equipment, but at the end of the day, humans are the weakest link in any network. Some of the attacks that take place are phishing and spear phishing. This is where we send a, an email to someone in hopes that they click a link. And spear phishing is where we make that email a little more pointed towards who we're sending it to. In other words, we send an accounting email to somebody that works in accounting, let's say, for example. Another social engineering attack is called credential harvesting. This is where we can set up a fake website in the hopes that someone will enter in their username and password, and then we collect that and we can use it later. And another vector for social engineering is the creation of infectious media. This is where we can create a file on a thumb drive and drop it in a parking lot in hopes that someone will take that thumb drive, put it in their computer, and then we run a program that connects back to our server and we're in. So let's go ahead now and open up our VMware workstation. And for this demo, we're going to click edit our virtual machine settings. We're going to go on our network adapter and we're going to change this to our bridged network connection. This way we can use our Windows machine to talk to our VMware operating system. So I'm going to go ahead and let this boot up. Okay, once your virtual machine has booted up, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal window. Then we type SE Toolkit and enter. This will bring up our social engineering toolkit. Now, this also brings up the following menu we have social engineering attacks, penetration testing fast track, third party modules, update the social engineering toolkit, update social engineering toolkit configuration. Then we have help, credits, and about. So we're going to go ahead and type 1 and look at the social engineering attacks. This brings up another menu. In this menu, we have these options, spear phishing attack vectors, which as we said before is an email attack vector where we attempt to get our target to click on a link in an email, which opens up a connection back to our Kali Linux server. We have website attack vectors which examples of that, various examples are, we can collect credentials, we can perform some Java attacks, and some various other attacks. We also have infectious media generator. This is where we create that USB drive with a program that connects back to our Kali Linux server once the target inserts the USB drive into their machine. We can create a payload and a listener. We can do a mass mailer attack. We can do some Arduino-based attack vectors. We can do some wireless access point attack vectors. We can do a QR code generator attack vector. This is used for uh, mobile phones primarily. We have an option for PowerShell attack vectors. We have an option for SMS spoofing attack vectors. This is where we can send text messages to targets and seem like it's coming from somewhere else. And then we have third-party modules. So for this demo, we're going to go ahead and do website attack vectors. So we'll type 2 and hit enter. This brings up another menu, and you can see the various attacks that are somewhat explained up here at the top. We have a Java applet attack, where we spoof a Java certificate and develop, uh, de deliver a Metasploit 
app-based payload using that Java applet. We have a Metasploit browser exploit that uses select Metasploit browser exploits through an iframe and delivers a payload that way. We have the credential harvester method. So this is where we clone a website that has a username and a password field, and when users type that in, we collect it. There is a tab nabbing method which waits for a user to move to a different tab, then refreshes a page to something different. There's a web jacking attack method introduced by White Sheep. This utilizes iframe replacements to make the highlighted URL link appear legitimate. However, when clicked, a window pops up that is then replaced with a malicious link. There's a multi attack method which is a combination of these attacks. And finally, there's a PowerShell injection attack. So, for this demo, we're going to go ahead and do the credential harvester attack method, uh, method. So, type 3 and press enter. Now, this brings up a menu where we can have web templates that are already built in for certain websites. Option 2 allows us to go clone any website, and 3 allows us to import our own website. So I'm going to go ahead and do one web web templates. Okay. And now it's asking for our IP address that uh you're going to get back in your harvester, meaning this this computer, the Kali Linux host. So I open up another terminal and I type ifconfig and here is the address I'm going to use 192.168.108.160. So I type that in here 192.168.108 160 you type in whatever you address you bring up for your demo then hit enter and now it asks us to pick a website template that we want to attack I'm gonna go ahead and say Twitter for this example okay and now social engineering toolkit is going out and cloning twitter.com and you can see here it's setting up a server that's running on port 80 so it's going to look like twitter.com but it's actually going to be our server that we are collecting login information this may take a few minutes and now we see here information will be displayed as it arrives below so now in addition to this attack if we got into the targets DNS and changed host records of twitter.com to point to our malicious IP address it would appear to the user that they are going to the real site however since this is just a demo we're going to type in 192.168.108.160 and if you see here it looks like the Twitter sign-in web page so I'll go ahead and type in my username here and I'll type in my password for Twitter here and then I click sign in and here's an interesting thing it actually takes us to the real Twitter website so if that was indeed my username and password for for Twitter it does pass along those credentials to the real website and it would appear to the user that nothing malicious happened now let's go back to our virtual machine and you'll see here that we got a hit that's what it says here and here's our username that I typed in username and the password that I typed in to that field password which obviously is fake in this instance but this is just an example And you'll see here I also got a, a, a token so it does pass along that token to the real website after being logged in okay so this says when you're finished go ahead and hit control C to generate a report so we'll do that and now a report has been generated for our reading pleasure in the following directory so we'll hit enter here let's go take a look at that report so we'll go to places computer then we will go to root for dot set let me go to reports and you can see here's our report and here are our credentials for Twitter username password password 
all right within this XML file. So it has indeed been saved. We also have an HTML file. So let's go ahead and open that and see what that looks like. So here is a, a little bit fancier report. And you can see here twitter.com was our URL that we spoofed. Here's a username, username, and password. If we had more users, that would show up here as well. So it's just a little fancier looking report than our XML file. So there are many other attack methods here that we can try in Social Engineering Toolkit, and I would encourage you to go ahead and experiment with them. If you'd like to see more of the, the method of generating an infectious media generator. I have that on my website at www.garydewey.com and you can see how that works there. That is with the old operating system Backtrack though. However, it works the same way with Kali Linux. That will conclude our demo of Social Engineering Toolkit. In our next video, we're going to be looking at working with Wireshark.